Hello, Jenna. Hi. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, so we're going to do three looks on Jenna today. Remember, it's a two-part episode. Now, when you're a 20-something, the idea of a natural finish in dramatic makeup is slightly different. It's a, there's a little more leeway in terms of what you can wear. So first off, we're going to start with natural makeup, and we're going to start with skin. And I just want to remind you, regardless of who you are, where you are, when you are, one must always hydrate before she does her foundation. So I'm going to very lightly put just a thin layer of moisturizer all over her skin. Now this one is for deeply dehydrated skin. I'm not saying she's deeply dehydrated, but what I am saying is that we want her skin to look dewy and glowy. So this, one, this particular product has a high water content. So a nice natural fresh look, lots of glow. That's what we want to see, so it's going to be very, very pretty. Does that feel good? Feels good. All right. Is it weird to have it being put on with a brush, moisturizer? Mm -mm. Well, see, it's not weird. So you can use your brush or your finger, whatever you prefer. Now, make sure you also take time to put on eye cream. Uh, all of this is from Dr. Uh, wait, who is this from? Brand. Dr. Brandt. That's right. Uh, we're going to take the eye cream. Look up, please. And notice, don't use the finger I use. No, that's the right finger. You're supposed to use this guy because you're not going to push too hard. So tap, tap, tap gently around the eye area. And you can feel for yourself where you may need more moisture. I feel that Jenna's a little more dehydrated right here because she's young. She burns the candle at both ends. Close, please. Mm. So, is that true? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why she needs that, that hydration, that moisturization. So first of all, this is a freshly moisturized skin. Take a look straight ahead, please. All right. That's a beautiful natural skin. Now we're going on to foundation. So for a natural look, how about a tinted moisturizer? Sound good? Sounds great. All right. So who are we using today? This is Tarte. Now apparently Jenna usually isn't as deeply toned as she is, but she's been freshly thunned. So we're going to use a slightly deeper, and it's a, uh, what do we call these things? These are tinted moisturizers. Just a little bit. We just, again, want to make sure the skin looks fresh, fresh, fresh. Now, why using a foundation brush is so good is because the brush itself is synthetic. And what that means is that it's not going to absorb any of the products. So you can just blend, 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 and all the products are going to come off onto your skin and not get absorbed into your brush. I'm going to take a little bit above her eyebrows as well, but because of your bangs, you don't need to go too high. I'm going to brush this nice and fresh. You're not going to worry too much about still seeing some inconsistencies in skin tone. In a natural look, remember, we want to see the person before we see the makeup. And this is a perfect example of natural skin for the 20-something. And now it's time for natural eyes for the 20-something. I'm using from Urban Decay. It's this cute little brow brush that I've never used before, so bear with me. So, for a nice natural eye, turn slightly towards me, please, thank you. For a nice natural brow, we want to pick a color that's pretty close to your own hair color. And we're going to just gently, with little short strokes, almost simulating little hair follicles, we're going to fill in her brow just a little bit. Okay, now I know for the 20-something, a really articulate brow is sort of the in thing. So I am going to apply a little bit more on her than I would, say, on someone who is a little bit more mature and doesn't want to look so trendy. So we clean up her brow and it looks super, super nice. Next on her eye, I'm going to be using a eyeshadow base. Now this eyeshadow base is designed to keep all those shadows on. And even if she's not going to be wearing any makeup on her eye at all, a product like this makes that eye area look smoother. So with a synthetic brush, of course, remember your brushes are the most important friend. They are, they are sort of the, uh, the conduit between your makeup and your face. Learn, get lots of brushes, learn how to use them. Nice thin layer of eyeshadow base right over the eye. So for a natural look, I don't want you to go too nuts. Remember, it's fast, it's out the door, it's fresh. So I'm going to pick up this shade. Of, it's a beautiful kind of a soft um, pinky mauve color that I think is quite pretty. Close your eye for me. And, and good. And then I'm just going to pat this color across the lid. You can see how that pink picks up. Close, please. Yeah, that's a gorgeous look on her. It really just brightens up her eye. And I'm not going to be afraid of this. Even though it's a natural look, we want to pop up a little bit more on her eye because of the 20-something age range and the, the effect of makeup they like. On the brow bone, I'm going to use more of a golden ivory color, and I'm going to press this right up under the eyebrow. And this looks gorgeous. So it's a nice little contrast on the eye. The shadow is delicious. Now, here, when you do liner, I do want liner on the natural look, okay? 
um, because she's wearing green and it's just fun, I'm going to use a green pencil, not a brown or a gray or a black, because, well, that's boring. All right, close your eye, please. So what we're going to do is, remember, perpendicular with the pencil to the eye, this way, okay? Perpendicular, and just fill in between those lashes. I want, those lash, I want that lash bed to look thicker. And because it's green, it's going to offer just a little hint of tone other than just a neutral. Very, very pretty. And close again. Very nice. So the lashes look a little bit thicker. Uh, and we're not going to do anything on the bottom of her lash bed for this look. We're just going to leave it just as is. I'm going to take a little tiny smudge brush, close for me. And I'm just going to blend that line just a little bit more into the lash bed. I didn't like the way it ended up. I could, it was too obvious. Okay, open, please. Oh, much softer, much prettier. All right, now, you recommended, uh, is this the mascara we want to use? Mm -hmm. All right, so this is a really lightweight mascara. It's supposed to be really pretty. Let's find out. Look down, please. For this look, we definitely want a nice light. Oh, you have such pretty lashes. This is Jenna's and mine's first time doing makeup, so we're getting to know each other here. So I'm brushing those lashes up very softly, very gently. Good, and let me get this little piece of mascara off. And that, and you can see in between the two eyes, it's a nice little subtle contrast. So let me just repeat those steps one more time. We're gonna start first with the brow, and what we're gonna do with this brow is short little follicle strokes, okay? You notice how Jenna's brow tends to drop off here real quick? No, 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 we don't like that. So what we're gonna do is with our pencil, we're gonna fill that in just a little bit to sort of complete that arch. You can't help it. You get your brows shaped, you work on it, and every once in a while you get just a little tiny bit of a patch, so you want to make sure you fill that in. Now, mm, on the other end of this, tell me about this. What does this do? It's a pomade. It keeps your hairs in place. Ay, ay, ay. I could, have, I could be using that right now myself. So I'm going to put a little bit of pomade and keep my hairs in place. And there's a little brush on the other end, so with the brush, I'm going to brush up. And that's going to hold the hairs in place. Oh, that looks really good. Way killer. Uh, next, we're going to be using on your eyelid the beautiful pinky mauve shadow. Close, please. And we're going to brush this across the entire eye, brightening up her eye quite a bit. If you don't want to get shadow all over your face, press, press, press with the brush, okay? Don't go foo, 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 because otherwise you get shadow right and left and everywhere in between. And it does, some end up, uh, it does some end up on your eye, but mostly on your face. This is the lighter shade, that nice ivory color. We're going to use that right up under her brow bone, give it a nice little lift. Very natural, very fresh, very, mm, dare I say, 20-something. Uh, next, I'm going to do a little bit of eyeliner. And this is the green pencil. Close for me, please. Take that pencil perpendicular. You don't want to apply this way. You end up getting the liner too high. Come straight in, and you almost be, be wanting to do, be wanting to do, that's right, you almost want to be wanting to do a little sketching motion in between the lashes. Sketch, 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 this way. That way you get that, that thickness in, in the lash bed. That's what you want to create. Open, please. And you get a nice, thick look to the lash bed, which is very, very pretty. I'm going to take a little tiny brush. With this little brush, I'm going to close, please. I'm going to just soften the appearance of that eye line just a little bit. So it blends right in. Perfect. Now we're going to take a very lightweight mascara. I, this stuff is great, by the way. It goes on really, it has a cool looking wand too. Uh, look down, please. And we're just gonna gently brush up. A real fresh look, very ladylike, if you will. Very clean lashes. Just like this. Let's take a look. Okay, that looks really nice. So one last step I wanna show is just a little bit of a concealer. And I do like to do my under eye concealer after I'm done with the eye makeup because in case anything does fall down, I want to make sure that I can clean everything up. So look up for me. Just very lightly, very quickly, I'm going to give a little brightening under Jenna's eyes, brushing with a, with a synthetic concealer brush, brushing, 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 out past the corner of the eye. Same thing, other side. Nice little smoothing action. That looks beautiful. We love it. Let me see. Perfect. This is a great example of a natural eye for the 20-something. Next up, we'll complete the natural look for the 20-something. Your access to Makeup Gourmet begins here. After this episode, log on to MakeupGourmet.com, where you'll find tips and information to feel and look your very best. All of that and more at MakeupGourmet.com.
All right, next we're going to be doing lips. Um, Jenna actually picked out this beautiful color for me. I had another one picked out. She said, no, no, no. I like this color so much better. It comes in a cool little applicator tube, too. What's the name of this color? Quiver. Quiver. And this is by? Urban Decay. You love that stuff, don't you? I do. Yeah. What, do you work for the company or something? Yes. Well, that's, that's it right there, isn't it? <laughs> All right, so here's, here's the trick with the, uh, with the uh, what do you call this? The lip gloss. I'm going to put this on her lips. Whoa, great color. You're absolutely right. Nice. Oh, I love it. It's glassy with that little hint of pink. Now that's pretty. It's amazing how much it changes the tone of your lip because your lip has a little bit of a, like a warm tone to it, and this really cuts that nice. I'm not a big fan of overlined lips, but if you want a little more definition and you're only using gloss, I want you to pencil after you're done doing the gloss. So I'm going to take a pencil with a very natural uh, shade, and I'm going to just trace the edge of her lip line afterwards. So when I'm penciling uh, over gloss, I like to clean off the tip of the pencil a little bit as I'm applying. Otherwise, what's going to happen is your, the tip of your pencil is going to pick up gloss, and it's going to stop distributing the pencil onto the lip. So that's my little trick, and this way you get definition plus a real natural, beautiful, glossy lip. Now, this is my perfect example of a 20-something natural lip. And now it's time for natural cheeks for the 20-something. Uh, first thing I want to do is just a little hint of bronzer. I love bronzer with a natural look. Not to say I don't like it for finish and dramatic looks, too, but especially the natural look. So I'm going to take just a touch of bronzer. And with Jen, I'm just going to very gently pop it right on the shelf of her cheekbone. That's the high part of the cheekbone where the sun hits first and across her across her uh, chin, down her nose. I'm not going to worry about her forehead because of, the, because of her style of her hair. Just a little bit of warmth, all right? Next, a beautiful contrast blush color, Pink Swoon by MAC. This is a great color. I have this in my kit, and I am bummed when I run out. I have to run out and get more. So I'm going to take a little bit of this pink, and I'm going to pop it right on the apple of her cheek. You've seen me use this technique many times. I love the effect that the blush is coming up out of the skin. So I pop with, with my brush as opposed to brush it on, which creates a little bit more of a stroked look. I want to make it look like color is kind of jumping up out of her skin. It's so happy, it's just flushing with color. Whoa, look at that. See what happens when we put that color on her, how her whole face just becomes the perfect finish. So this is the perfect example of natural makeup for the 20-something. If you're watching this at MakeupGourmet.com, I've listed my current favorite products to achieve this look. Click on one and try it. If you're not at MakeupGourmet.com, go there now to see my favorite product picks for this look, as well as everything else we have to offer. How to apply, what to buy. MakeupGourmet.com